Welcome back to Jay's Reptile World Australia every, everybody. Today we're going to be feeding a common death adder. We wanted to feed it so you can see how fast it is at striking. Death adder is actually the fastest striking snake in the world and we wanted you to experience this if it comes up on camera all right. Now in Australia we are not allowed to feed live animals to snakes. It's actually cruelty. It's RSPCA laws in Australia. There are two reasons for that. First of all, the um, prey item will know that there's a predator there, so the animal will be um, frightened. It can be a very cruel thing to do. Second of all, the prey item, like rats and mice, have very sharp teeth. They can actually bite into your snake if the snake isn't feeding. So if you care about animals, you would never lie feed a, wild, a prey item to a predator. So, so here we go. We're going to get this lid off. That's the female death adder there that we've seen before. And we get a rat pup that's been de defrosted. Let's see if you can see how fast she strikes. Oh, she's, here she goes, she's ready now. There you go. And there you have it, the fastest striking snake in the world. Often in the cage, I had to bring her out here because it was a bit dark in the cage. So I put her in a tub so we could um, film it. In the cage I just drop the rat pup in front of her and she has it before it hits the ground. So, so she's been a bit disturbed because I had to put her into the tub so we could see it on the camera. But you can see there how fast they are at striking. You see they have the venom glands on the side of the heads here. She's pumping that prey item full of venom. So You can see that where she's grabbed that rat pup, if it wasn't dead and it was still alive, it would be biting into the snake. So. So if you care about your animals, you care about animal welfare, you will always feed dead prey items to your, to your snakes. So in Australia it's RSPCA laws and I recommend everyone practice that standard. So it's very cruel otherwise. Normally a snake will f swallow their prey item head first. She has actually got this by the back. We'll see what she does. She might release and change grip or she might just swallow it whole. So you see how big her fangs are? There she goes, she's letting go now. Death Adder has really long fangs for an Australian lapid, So it's quite hard for her to get them fangs out. So. See why they call them adders, because they have a very adder-like looking head and body, but they are an actually an lapid, which is a front fang venomous snake and the fangs are fixed. All adders and vipers, their fangs are hinged and they swing back when the snake closes its jaw. Whereas the lapids have fixed fangs at the front of the jaw. So, see she's having a bit of trouble there because she should be going head first. She, might change her mind in a minute. But of course, it's not, here she goes now. She's realising she needs to go from the head. So now she'll sniff at the body all the way up to the tip of the nose. And then she'll start swallowing the snake, the prey item properly. So she's still looking at the wrong end. She's figuring it out. So. Imagine if you fed this snake a live rat pup then. She wouldn't have gripped it properly and the rat pup would have been biting into the snake as well as it being cruel to the rat pup as well. So, so. In Australia, RSPCA laws demand that all snakes be fed dead prey items. It's, it's an um, animal welfare strategy 
I urge everyone to practice it. So. It's cruelty to do it any other way. We are always about animal welfare in Jay's Reptile World Australia. So. We love all animals. All animals have a place in the environment. And that's why we encourage people to respect, not fear them. We can live in harmony with all wildlife. Here she goes now, she's looking for the head. And then the prey item will go down smoothly because they're going with the fur instead of against the fur. So. She's not quite sure which way to go. So. You see that strike then? You see how fast they are. Now she's got the head, she'll swallow it down, no worries now. So what she was looking for, I just gave her a helping hand. With death adders, you must always be out of strike range. You can see how fast that strike was then. Just the fastest striking snake in the world. So you would never have a chance to get out of the range. You, the only chance you have is to never be in range of their strike. So I always use hooks with them. It's one snake species you can never really touch without the potential of being bitten. Now she's got it head first, she'll be swallowing with the fur instead of against it. It'll go down smoothly, it won't take her too long to eat this rat pup now. You see how she walks her mouth down the prey item, she dislocates her bottom jaw. She uses them fangs, which are quite large, to um, hold the prey item and to manoeuvre her head along the prey item. They don't actually ingest it, they actually walk their head along the body to swallow it as they dislocate the bottom jaw. That's why snakes have rear curved teeth, so that when they bite a prey item it can't escape and it also helps when they're swallowing prey items. See she's a beautiful snake. She comes from the Gold Coast hinterland this one, that's where the um, bloodline originated from. One of my friends, John Comino, he actually bred this female and gave her to me as a, as a newborn and I've raised her up from there. So. Beautiful animals. She, she'll breed every year if I let her. So. Because they're an ambush predator in the wild they don't feed very often and they'll probably only breed every three years but in captivity with, when you can feed them fortnightly, monthly, have a constant food supply Death adders can breed every year easily. They don't have eggs to incubate, they have live young. So as soon as, the, while the female's pregnant, she can be feeding. As soon as she gives birth, she can also keep feeding, fatten up again. So very easy species to breed in captivity. I don't breed them every year because you just get overrun with baby death adders. And they are very dangerous animals. See how big a head is, large fangs, large venom glands. Before the advent of antivenine, there used to be a 50% death rate from death adders. Since antivenine production, there's been no fatalities. So the um, serum laboratories have saved countless lives over the years. When she gets past them front legs, the prey item should go down a lot faster.
very similar to when we fed the wild carpet python a few weeks ago out on our back deck at home. Most snake species have the same principles for swallowing prey items, just that pythons can swallow larger prey items than most of lapids. Pythons are renowned for swallowing the biggest prey items. Just Jaw dislocates further and their body distends further. See, once you got past them front legs, they're starting to go a lot faster now. So. With some old pythons, sometimes we can hold the first rat. When she's nearly finished the first rat, we will slide the second rat into their mouth so they don't have to dislocate their jaw twice. So, when you have um, hand fed, hand raised animals, they're captive bred, they can tame down, they know where the food's coming from, you can feed them like that. Once she gets past the body, you'll be able to see her, the sheaths of her f fangs. You'll see how long they really are. So, I hate to take a bite from a death adder. They're very long fangs from a lapid species. See them sheaths of the fangs? It's all fang underneath that gum line. See what a beautiful species they really are. Dangerous but beautiful species. Easy to keep in captivity. As long as you're never in striking range, they are magnificent species to keep. One of my favourites. See how she's working it down the body now, just the tail to go. Looks like she's having a cigarette after her dinner.
Well, there you have it everyone, fastest striking snake in the world. I hope that showed up alright on camera. She's done now, she won't feed for a couple of weeks now. So make sure you like and subscribe, next time we'll be looking at the eastern small eyed snake. Thanks for watching, see you next time.